everybody, this is Ellen. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the Happy Elf. I think he's super adorable, super cute. Little curved hat, pointy ears, little cheeks, little balls on his feet. I'm considering that he's wearing a sleeper because we start changing the colors down here, you get into the transition, not as fun, but super cute this way anyways. Um, little buttons, but adorable. Fits in well with the Happy Gingerbread Man, so or woman, depending on what you've made. So they're super cute this way. I know I've made kind of the bigger figures in the past, and I probably will in the future too, but um, getting them out to you so that you can have them um, before Christmas, uh, hopefully. Um, the little smaller ones are a little bit quicker for me to do, so they don't take quite as many trial and errors, but that's why they kind of are a little smaller this time, but I think they're adorable this way. For some reason, the smaller is cuter. Um, as far as band-wise, it is, or I used, um, 200 green on this one, and then there was 80 white between the, the ruffle, or the edge of the hat, the ruffles, the, the um, collar parts on the pajamas or outfit, I guess. And then um, for the tan, it was 131. Um, these are all Rainbow Loom colors, but you can find these in different brands as well. So, And then you'll want your cheek bands, um, your, so two for those, some button bands or actual buttons, so three of those. I put little balls on his shoes, so two of those. Um, and then for the face, for the eyes and the cheeks, or the eyes and the mouth, um, you can either use bands or, um, for the eyes, or seven millimeter pony beads. Um, both would work well, so we'll get started. First I'll explain how to put the eyes and stuff together. You can get some of that ready ahead of time. So if you're going to use a bead, you want your bead and you want something that you can thread some bands through. So I use a piece of craft wire, but you can use string, thread, floss, anything you can get into a V-shape that you can put two bands down into the center of, the color of the face. Close it up and then thread your bead through your tool get it into the center, and then you have a beaded eye band. So you have to make two of those. If you don't have any beads or don't want to use them, you can use just a band. So it's whatever color you want the eye to be. Take that band, put it on your hook, wrap it around into a figure eight. Grab both bands, wrap them around again, and then pull through two bands the color of your face. So you need two of these if you're going to do wrapped eye bands. Then the cheeks are made the same way as the eyes, so it's just whatever color you want your cheek, put it on your hook, wrap it around the one time into the figure eight, grab both bands, wrap them around again, and then take two bands face color through. So you'd want two of those as well. Um, and then there are the buttons here, so whatever color you're going to make your outfit, you make those the same way as you make the cheeks or if you do wrap bands for the eyes. So you'd want three of those, and then on the feet, um, if you want these on there, then you'll have two more um, wrap bands. So another five wrap bands if you plan to add all of these on there as well. So, of course, one loom, and we're going to kind of start a little low and then kind of kind of expand up a ways. So. And I work with the wrong end of the loom towards me. So first we're going to start, and we work from the top down. So we're going to make the little puff first. Now I'm going to make mine white again. Now you could make yours um, a little fuller or a little thinner. It's up to you, but I actually used eight bands for this. And I just took a band, put it on my hook, wrapped it around once, but then I did that eight times in total. So that's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then I took four bands, although you probably could use two, and I pulled them through the center of all of this. So you could use probably two here and it wouldn't matter a whole lot for pulling through all of these, through the eight bands. 
I just wanted it to be puffy. So like that. Then you can go ahead and put it on your loom. Like that. So just the eight bands are free there in the middle. And then whatever color you're going to make your hat, you're going to grab those bands, cat hair, and you'll take four bands and basically lay them on top of your puff, like that. So there's four bands right there, and then the you'd either have four or two under here. Either way would work. But then you're just going to take your hook, grab those puff bands, or whether you have four or two, flip them over the top, so it kind of sits in the middle there. Then you'll want to rotate it up towards the top. So that'll be my little puff. So now we're going to expand. So you're just going to grab two bands. It doesn't really matter a whole lot for this part what two bands. Just grab two bands, pull them up on one side, and do the same thing on the other side. Two bands, pull them up. So we basically have a little X through the center of our puff. Now we're going to do a row around. So two bands, and we're just going to go around the little square here, or rectangle. Like that. Then you go around and you flip the bottom two bands all the way around every pin. Just the two. Like that. Push your bands down. Another row just like that. So two bands all the way around. Like that. And then flip the bottom four. Push your bands down. So now we're going to increase, and we're going to increase these two pins right here. So you go in and grab the top two bands on this pin and just pull them up and there's no crossing of the bands from this pin to here or from this pin to over here. Just space. Then we'll go over to the other side and on here you'll have to pick up all four bands off the pin, stretch them up, and grab the top two bands and bring them back. So again now this band right here goes from this pin to over here so there's no crossing again. Push those down, and I'm going to do rows around, two bands, all the way around our little rectangle, like that. And again, on where we increased on the end here, it'll be two bands for the first two, and the bottom will be four bands. And the same thing on the other side. Like that. Now another row. Same thing, two bands all the way around. Like that. 
Now we'll flip the bottom four all the way around. Push your bands down. And we're going to increase again. Same thing on these two pins here. On the right side you should be able to pick up the top two bands and bring them up. And on this side you'll bring pick up all the four bands, bring them up, and grab the top two and bring them back. I'm going to do a row around, two bands, like that. And then again where we increased at the top it's just going to be the two bands underneath for the first two and the other ones will be four. Like that. Push your bands down. Then we're going to increase again, but this time we're going to increase on the other end. So for both of these pins, you're going to have to pick up all four bands and pull them down to the lower pin. So pick them up, pull them down, grab the top two bands, bring them back. Same thing for the other side. Top two bands, bring them back. So this band just goes through, there's no crossing right there. Then we'll do a row all the way around, two bands. that. So now it'll be opposite where you'll have the four bands for the top ones and then just two bands for the lower ones to flip over. Stick this from the pins. Like that. Push your bands down. Now you want the color you want for the edge of your hat, whatever color for this one. I'm going to use the white again. And then it's two bands. I'm going to go all the way around, but we're going to cross them. So on the pin and cross. And we're going to do that all the way around. Push your bands down, like that, and then I'm right on top of this, we're going to take another two bands and just go normally around, like that. 
I say like that a lot. Sorry. Just be like, looky here. Like so. Better. So once you have that, we're going to go and we want to flip over the bands that we have crossed. So they're in the center. It's kind of squished in here, but we have the top bands that were just normally put on. And then in the middle here, there are the crossed row bands. These are the ones we want to go over the top. So grab all four of them, pull them over. If you kind of look at them, it's easier to see. Like I can tell. Here's one cross band, and then underneath of that was the other one. So you can flip them over that way too instead of trying to do all four at once. Do that on both sides. that so you should have the still the four on the bottom that are the color of your hat and then you'll have four bands on top that are the color of your brim. So what we want to do is basically kind of attach the brim to the hat and how we're going to do that so we'll go in through in my case the white bands grab the hat bands my blue ones pull those up through the white ones take the white ones off the pin and then replace the blue ones back onto the pin. I'm going to do that all the way around. Just take your time. You don't need to rush through it because you don't want to lose any of the bands off of your hook. Um, make sure you get all the bands back onto the pin. I know a few times I've missed a band or two, which is no fun because you usually don't find out till later. I want to do that all the way around. And the same thing on the other side. One side is usually easier for me than the other side, but. came off a lot faster than I thought it would. I'm just kind of tuck these and stick them back into the middle pins here. So that's what it should look like now. So now we're going to go into the face area. So whatever color you're going to use for the face. Um, I know that skin tones are hard to come by. Um, I'm going to use some from the Rainbow Loom Pack. I know that there are other brands that sell them that I've used in the past. Um, Stretch Band Bracelet Loops sells them as a light coffee color. I've gotten them from, from Joann's. And then of course, um, sometimes the neon orange can look good on them or really just make any color that you want to use. So, But what we're going to do is take two bands and we're going to puff all of the pins now, so two bands. I'm going to take my hook, stick them through the bands that are on the pin, grab the two bands from the skin color or the face, pull them up, put them on the hook, take the bands off the pin, 
and then replace it with the face bands. I want to do that all the way around the hat. Definitely no fun sorting them. Still very surprised that Rainbow Loom hasn't put out their own just like plain solid skin killer packs yet. Because it would be nice. Because it's no fun sorting those. Especially those ones because they have the two colors that are like really close. You will need to be in direct sunlight to tell the difference. done with these. So like that. So now we want to make our ears and we're going to make those on the hook and we have to make two of them of course. So how they're made is start with one band on the hook, double it, Grab both bands, double them again, take another band on the hook, double it, pull it through what's on your hook, both ends back on, kind of center it as best as you can, then take two bands, double them, pull them through what's on your hook, back on, center it again, and just kind of, we're going to leave this alone, we're going to make another thing right next to it. So then two bands, doubled, grab all of it, and double it again until it's kind of tight, they're right next to each other, and we're going to take two bands again, double them, Pull them through what's on your hook. Put both ends back on your hook. And kind of center it as best as you can. Like that. Then take two bands and you're going to pull those through the first portion on your hook. Just get it into the center and you can take your hook out. Then do the same thing for the next portion. Two bands through the other half. Like that. So we have to make another one of those. Pretty sure I have like two different colors here. I guess my sorting wasn't so great. So again, starting one band on the hook, wrap it around once, then twice. Pull through another band that's doubled. Back on the hook, center, two bands, doubled, pull through, on the hook, center again, two bands, doubled, double them again, And two bands. I definitely have more than one color going on here. Two bands. Doubled. Pull through everything on your hook. Back on. So 
So then two bands, two bands through the first portion. Take your hook out and two bands through the second portion. Like that. So now, for this row, you'll take one of your ears and the part that is has a little point on it right here, you're going to take that band, or those two bands that are closest to that side, and you just go ahead and slide that on like that. So the point will be pointed up fairly well. It'll get better once we put the other end on, but so just like that. And it's two bands across the front. Like that. And the other ear. So again, the bands are closest to the point. Just stretch those out. And attach. And then two bands along the back side. So like that. And you go around and you flip over the bottom four, which is basically just those puffing bands that we did previously. Push your bands down. So this is going to be a combination of attach the ears and add the eyes row. So for your ear, if you kind of look at it, um, the band is going to kind of look one way, like it. You could take it this way, and then the ear would kind of point inside. Or if you go the other way. it will poke up correctly. So you just kind of want to take it and put it on a way that will make it so that it stays straight. It's not exact. Um, just when you look at it, if you think that it'll stay kind of straight out like this, then you're fine. And then we'll put two bands right here. Then the eyes are in the next spots. Like that. And two bands. And we'll attach the other ear. And then two bands along the back side. Like that. Then flip over the bottom four all the way around. Push your bands down. So 
now we're going to make our nose and I just took two bands put them on my hook wrapped them around one time grabbed all of them wrapped them around again just kind of got a, a big nose and then one band doubled and I pull it through everything back on the hook and you'll be able to position this and turn it once you get it on or get your guy off the loom to how you want it to look but you'll take this and these bands right here in the front between the eyes lift those up slide down your nose and then put the bands back onto the pin like that our next row around is going to be our cheek row so you want your cheeks if you want them the so two bands another two bands then the cheeks will go right here way around the rest is two bands. Like that. Flip over the bottom four all the way around. Stick this now. Looking good. Now we're going to put on the mouth. So, whatever color you want for the mouth, take that band, put it on your hook. That one seems kind of large on your hook, wrap it around once into that figure eight, and then again right here in front where those where the cheeks are, grab those bands in between, pull them up, slide down your mouth band, and then put the bands back onto the pin. Like that. Slide down your bands. Now we're going to reduce and we're going to reduce these two pins right here. So we'll start up here. You'll grab the top two bands, lift them up, see where they're coming from. Mine are coming from the top left here. So I'm going to bring them down to the right. And then the other bands will come over to the left. I'm going to put these on the other side of the pin. I'm going to go ahead and, while I'm down here, flip the bottom four. For those two bands that I just, or two pins, where we reduce the bands to, so let's flip the bottom four. So once you do that, come to the other corner, find the top two bands. Mine are coming from the left over here, so they're going to come over to the right, and the other ones will come to the left, and then once again, flip over the bottom two both the pins. I hear my cat playing with the cord behind the table. So like that. Push your bands down. Then we're going to do a row around. Two bands keep trying to think of something to say, but all I can think about is how earlier my husband's like, you know, you should try and come to bed at a reasonable hour sometime. 
And I'm like, well, what's reasonable? And he's like, well, I don't know, maybe after you've made something, then instead of trying to make something else at the same time, you know, just take a break, come to bed. And I'm like, but I can't. I have to keep going while I'm while the creative juices are flowing like that. So I'll flip over the bottom four all the way around. But tonight, you kind of, it's like, yeah, you need to come to bed early. I guess tomorrow I plan to go for my little trip. So it's like, if you're not in bed around midnight or one o'clock, it's like, I don't know if you should be driving. Because normally I stay up to like 5 o'clock in the morning, so I think I might be tired. Push your bands down. So now we're going to do some more reducing. We're going to reduce these two pins that are kind of sticking out. So we'll start up here. Grab the top two bands. They're coming from this pin on the left, so they'll go over to the right. The other ones will come to the left. And again, flip over the bottom four. Or bottom two, sorry. Flip over the bottom two. I hope I didn't say that earlier. I probably did. And then the same thing on this pin. Grab the top two bands. They're coming from the right pin, so they're going to come over to the left. And grab the other bands, bring them to the right. Flip the bottom two. Like that. Push your bands down. And then we're going to reduce a little bit more. So we're going to reduce the center pins right here. So you'll pick up the top two bands in the center. See where they're coming from. Mine are coming down from the lower pin. So you're going to go up to the upper pin. And the same thing, but the other ones will come down to the bottom pin. And once again, flip over the bottom two. Like that. So then the same thing in the front. Pick up the top two bands in the middle. See where they're coming from. Mine are coming from the top, so they're going to go down to the bottom. And the other bands will go to the top. And then flip over the bottom two. Like that. And then what you want to do is bring these closer. So I'm just going to kind of squish this guy down. Make sure your bands are pushed down on the pin. I hope his big head doesn't get in the way through the whole filming here. So I'm just going to grab these and bring them down right next to the other ones. Like that. Look how far we've come. Push your bands down. So now we're going to make the little collar on him. For a little bit. So this is made just like the brim of the hat. It's two bands in that X pattern, row first, all the way around, which is thankfully only a few spots, but it's just kind of a pain because the set's in the way. So the X row all the way around, and then again you'll do the two bands right on top of the X row. Push my bands down a little bit more. And here. So now you have the X row and the regular row all the way around on the four pins. So again, you're just going to go in, grab the X row bands only, and flip those over the top of the pin, leaving the four 
regular bands on there. I'm going to do that for all the pins. So then again, we're going to pull up the bottom face color through the collar. So go through the collar, grab the bottom face color, pull it up, take off the other pin, other bands, and put the face color back on to the pin. And you'll do that all the way around. After we get through the arms, it's not too bad, so... At least it's only four pins this time. Like that. Nice little collar. Push your bands down. So now you're going to watch your shirt color again. And we're going to puff these four bands that are left on the pins, or the four pins that have the bands on them, with the two bands from your shirt color. So again, hook into the bands on there, grab two bands, pull them up. Take the bands off, and then what's on your hook goes back onto the pin. And it's just the four bands to do that, or four pins to do that on this time. You can tell his head's in the way. It's in my way. My room is so creaky. You have the four puffed bands. So now what you're going to do is on this end up here you'll grab the top two bands from this right top pin and bring them over to the center right here. Make sure you push those down and move your head back the other way. And then on this corner on the left bottom grab the top two bands and bring those over to the center as well. Push your bands down. So now we're going to make the hands and arms. So we first want to start with um, whatever color you want for the little cuff color. It's one band. And we're going to be working on these three pins right here. So like our design is on these three. We're going to skip a row and then work right here just because there's a little bit more room. So you're going to take one band and wrap it around these three pins three times. So one, two, and three. Same thing for this one. Two, three, and again. Push those down. And we're going to work doing both ends at the same time to kind of keep track here. So again, here's our design. We're going to skip a row, and then on the next row, we'll do the three bands wrapped three times. like that. Then you can push those down. So 
So I'll come back and start here. I'm just going to take two bands and drop them on the center pin. Two bands across. Two bands on this pin wrapped around one time. Doesn't have to be super tight. So what you'll do is go in through that cap band we put on, grab the two bands that are stretched across the loom, and pull them back towards themselves. And you can go in through the cap band still, grab those two bands we dropped, pull those back. Then you'll take two more hand color bands and pull those up through the cap band. Put both ends on your hook. Take off your cap band off that pin and then what's on your hook will go onto that pin. Like so. And we'll do that down here as well. So two bands on the center and you could technically drop two bands there as well and two bands across, Oops. two bands for a cap band on this pin, wrapped once is good. So then you go in through your cap band, grab the two bands that are stretched across, pull those up and back towards themselves, go in through the cap band again, grab these dropped bands, Pull those up, put those back on the pin, and just bring them up above the white band, and take the other drop bands that we have, take your hook in through the cap band while you're holding this off to the side, hook those two bands, just those two bands, bring them up on the hook, take the cap band off, and then what's on your hook goes onto the pin. So like that. Two. Back to this side. I'm going to take two bands and go in kind of a little triangle here. Like that. We'll do the same thing on the other end. Come back here. We're going to flip over our hand color ones. Flip those over the top and then flip over those wrap bands for the cuffs next. And you'll do that on every pin. So the hand color first and then the cuff color. And then again, hand color and cuff color. Push that down. And then come up here and do the same thing. Hand color first. And then the cuff color. Hand color, cuff color, and hand color if I can grab it. And not everything else. Oh my gosh. won't let it defeat me. Uh -huh. And then the cuff color. Push those down. And 
I'm going to do another row around two bands. I'm going to do that on both ends. Like that. Then come back, flip over the bottom four all the way around. On both ends. me up this time like that so what we're gonna do is on each side you can take the two side piece side bands or side bands around these pins and bring them straight up to the corners of the face this one we actually have to pick it up and kind of flip it over as we do it um, I will say you can make the arms a little bit longer if you want to by adding in another row, but that'll be up to you. I didn't... They're the same size as the gingerbread man, only they're doubled all the way instead of the single, but... I think the size looks good. So I'm going to pick up these bands, kind of make sure I'm going to cover these, pick them up, stretch them way down, do the same thing on this side. And I'm purposely keeping it st stuck behind this pin right here. It does make for a much more tight stretch, so be careful. If it comes up, it's not a huge deal, but just so long as something's still on the pin here. So I'm going to take my hook, put it in through here, and I'm going to put my finger kind of right on top of the arm. Bring this up. And it's I'm going to make sure to kind of flip it back and this has to come to this pin right there. And make sure you get them all on correctly. I'm going to leave it like this, stuck on this pin, until we get done with this next row and then we can pop it off. Just because it's easier to see the bands underneath. So it is tight, just kind of have to be careful. But we'll do the same thing on the other side as well. Grab those bands, pull them straight up. Same thing on the other side. Sorry, I'm in the way here. And then again in the middle, pick them up, and kind of flip them over. And that one came off. So. Flip them over. And I'll show you what it looks like this way as well. This head got in the way. So when if it comes off, it'll just be like that. I'm just going to take my hook, go back in through where the hand is, and kind of pull it back over the pin, just so it's kind of stretched out a little bit so I can still see what's going on underneath here. So we have to get in there to loom. I'll turn this back around so the wrong side towards me. So arms are on. Yay! So we're going to do a row around. And right here in the front, we're going to add a button if you want to add those. So they're made just like the cheeks and the wrapped eye band eyes. Yeah. So two bands. I'm going to start right here. And again, right here. And my button. And then two bands around the rest. like that. Button in the front, two bands around. So for flipping, I'm going to do the side pins first and then come back into the center. So first I'm going to flip over the arm bands. Those will go over the top of the pin and then the bottom four, which are the puffing bands, over the top. I'll do that on all the corners. 
except for some of them may only have two bands because of how we expanded. Let's get those over. And the same thing on this side. Arm bands. And the either bottom four or bottom two. Clip those over. And we have arm bands. And the bottom two. So then for the end here, we have this kind of nice V shape. This is why I left it stretched out. So we can go in through there, and on this pin that's on towards the side, the wrong end of the loom, there are two bands under there that you need to pick up and pull up over the top of the pin. Just go in through there, pull up those two bands up and over. And now this side fell off, so it makes a little bit more of a pain because we still need to find that little spot. So I'm actually going to stretch this out even further. So we need to find that little triangle that cut that disappeared right there. So I can get in there and grab the two bands again that are right there, pull them up and over the top of the pin. And once you've done that, just push your bands down and you can release your arms from whatever they're attached to. And then you can actually pick it up, bring it up over the top of the pin carefully so they'll kind of sit next to the head like that. You can do that on both sides. your bands down. Now we're going to do another row around the six pins with the two bands and then there'll be a button in front if you want it. So this head's going to be in the way a lot here in the arms. Button in the front. Two bands around the rest. Like that. So then you go around and flip over the bottom four on the pins. bands down, another row with the button, two bands, button in the front, two bands around the rest. And flip over the bottom four all the way around. Push your bands down. So we'll have another row all the way around with two bands, just normal. Like that. And 
with the bottom four. We're getting there, there's not too much left. down. So now we want to do is um, make some room to make our legs and how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to take these three pins, the bands that are on them, and move them up a pin. So I'm going to grab all four bands, pick them up, and move them up. Same thing for here and here. that. Then you should be able to kind of move them or her to center it a little bit better. So what we do is we're going to um, go row, band here, band here, and the other band is going to start on this pin or on this pin, go underneath and come up on the other side. So two bands two bands, and then the other two bands, stay out of the way, you take your hook, stick it through on one side, be careful not to rub too much on the pin because you'll end up, you can end up damaging the bands there, just get your hook through there, snag however you can. two bands, sometimes it's not very cooperative, we'll take it, it's one. Throwing it up on top, pulling it under, and on the pin. So underneath, you can see the band that goes across underneath the design, and then it comes up onto the pin. So we want to do that on both sides. The two bands are on the outside. Take your hook under however you can, snag the bands, pull them through, one end will go on the pin on the one side, and we'll pull through and put the other end on. And it gets a little easier as we to the next row, so you want to try not to have them super twisted. I mean, it's hard to tell, hard to see, but if you can notice a definite twist in it, I don't do them. So what you want to do is go around and flip the bottom four. Where these come up from underneath, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes, so just be careful that you're not flipping the ones you just laid on. How many times my furnace is going to run? It seems not very productive. Like that. So I have a little bit more room underneath to get our hook under there. So we're going to do another row just like that. So two bands along the outside. And 
then you want to pull through two bands underneath. And of course if you have the latch hook, um, that would be probably much easier to use. I think it's because I can't see what I'm doing. On one side, pull through. On the other side. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Two bands. And then underneath. Always one. Not always, but that's what it seems like. Alright. Flip my bands on. And then again, we'll flip the bottom four. And again, be careful, you're just flipping the bottom four from the previous row. So, so now we're going to add on the little um, ankle ruffle, I guess, or ankle cuff. And how we're going to do that is you're just going to take whatever color you want that to be, put it on your hook one time in a figure eight, grab one band, wrap it around again, so you have a three twist on there. And then you just go around to every pin that has the bands on it, lift the bands up, slide that down, and put them back onto the pin. All the way around. It's kind of like putting on a tighter mouth band, I guess. Make sure you get them all on. And last one. Like that. So we'll do another <clears throat> row around, and this is where you add the little ball if you want to put it on the toe. And those will go right here in the front area. So I'm just going to start with two bands back here. Then my 
little ball. And it should be much easier to get your hook under here to pull two bands through. Sorry my guy's in the way. Such pain. Maybe he's not one of the good little elves. So then you go ahead and flip the bottom four all the way around. Now we are ready to close. We're going to use, I'm going to use two bands per leg to close it. You can use one if you want to, that's up to you. Um, I'm going to make sure to start either in the front pin or in the back pin. I would not start in the middle just because of how it closes when you're done. So I'm going to start here in the back, grab two bands, or grab all the bands on one pin, come around to the middle, and then come around to the front. Then take two bands, pull them through, both ends on my hook, and do a slip knot. I'm not going to make it super tight yet, just enough to make it secure. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Bands in the back, middle, and front. And then two bands pulled through. And slip knot. So like so. So I'm going to kind of try and squish the feet around to get them a little bit flatter before I tie this off tighter. And give it a tug. And then once you're satisfied that it's flatter, or however you wish it to look, you can go ahead and pull tight. And then you want to hide the tail down inside. And it's kind of a pain because I seem to always catch bands when I'm doing this, but the inside of the leg is hollow, but there are bands that get in the way. But I bring it up through the leg, and then there's kind of a little gap here. So grab those bands and pull them down through that. Then you want to pull enough so that your knot comes down into the leg. I grab something else. Then just hide your bands. Do the same thing for the other leg. So, um, you may need to adjust the cuffs around the hands, just kind of by pulling them towards the hands themselves. Um, those. 
And then, of course, the arms, if you want them to be positioned differently, just kind of hold it down. And then right up in here, there's a little teardrop shape from the banding. If you get your hook underneath there, and I put my thumb on there, and then I can kind of pull the arm down while kind of pulling the bands up. And I can reposition which way the arm goes. Oof, losing my voice. Must be the furnace kicking on so many times. So you can move which way his arms go. Like that. Um, let's see. I might have to loosen this up at the collar, um, loosen these up here. Where we reduced some of the um, reducing along the neck was tighter on some bands than on other bands in the same area. So you might have to go in there and just kind of loosen up some of the bands in the neck if it looks funny to you. Um, the ears, just kind of, you can twist the bands around to get them in the position that you want. So it looks nice to you. Use your hook too. A little easier, but I like that. And then puff out your puff on your hat. Super cute. Oh, I think it's adorable. I guess I kind of have a thing for making things with big hats. Maybe it's a bobblehead thing or I don't know but I hope that you enjoyed making this I know it was a long tutorial I apologize for that um, but sometimes the cooler things take a while um, I definitely appreciate you guys watching um, it really means a lot to me and I'm just loving to create this and do different things and I feel like I'm kind of just getting started with stuff and um, I'm hoping that not too many people are just ending things so um, definitely thank you for watching. I will surely have more in the future. If you make some of these cuties or any other cuties that I've made, I would love for you to share them with me on my Instagram, which is at Crafting Fantastic, or on my Facebook page, which is Feeling Spiffy or Crafting Fantastic. And then, of course, if you want to subscribe to my channel, that would be fabulous, so you know when I come out with new things. But I hope that you enjoyed the Happy Elf, and I will definitely have more for you soon. Thank you very much for watching.